Hey, what's up, guys? It is Alejandro here, and today we're playing Grand Theft Auto V. So last time we left off, we um, got Lamar rescued because he got himself kidnapped. Big fucking surprise right there. Who would have thought that happened? And also, um, Devin tried to have Michael's family killed. Well, his wife and daughter. So, Amanda and the kids are out now at a hotel until things cool down and then they'll be back here and the maid will still be here just not at this time because I guess she doesn't live here she just comes in just to clean up and then goes home I always thought that the maid lived with him well in this episode we're going to be doing the big one ready be getting ready for the big one so um I think he started as Trevor. What's Trevor doing? Oh, he's drunk. Typical Trevor. What else would he be doing? Oh, look at this. I'm practically at work. Yeah, you sure are, Trevor. Anyway, I'm going to start it as Trevor because I think that's what you're supposed to do. He's going to go in drunk as hell. I lost count of how many boobies I seen. You stayed in one place. And you have two girls that will not get off of you. You've seen at least four. I mean, yeah, maybe a bunch of others, because I guess they walked by. But Wade is basically trapped here for the rest of his life. Oh, he still doesn't know. All right. Lester, what are you doing here, bud? So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! All right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. 
Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Now, I've done the obvious approach. I think those. I think I did that the first time, and then I did it again on the PC version when I was just going through the storyline. The subtle approach is the easier one for me. And I kind of like it a bit more. Um, I, I mean, the obvious one, I mean, it's cool. I mean, you get to drill a hole. I thought that was awesome when I first saw it. But the mission overall is just harder. So I, I usually do the subtle one. And also, it's a bit more of the smart. It's a, it's a smarter approach. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's going to take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at the big one. Let's get Chef. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to be right back with you. Come on, let's get you up. Okay, let's get you to the hospital. No, no hospitals. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Chola Springs Avenue. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back there? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. Hey, I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to the cops or a hospital flee the scene of a dead body. I'd say I deserve some information here. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Trust me, I do. Call it competitive intelligence. What kind of job are we talking, bank? Jewelry? So you're in the game? I didn't say that. Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It was supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20k each. I was the driver. But not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half of San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Again, I didn't say that. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up, lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. I can't stop shivering. This ain't good. Keep pressure on it. We're not that far away. Listen, I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime, you let me know. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to get another driver. I was supposed to get her a while back and I kind of forgot until this very episode. Good thing it wasn't too late. Although, 
I didn't think she would even be available at nighttime because I usually do it. I usually do it in the daytime. It's just kind of weird doing it at nighttime. I'm way over here. Anyway, let's go back over there. It's forever faster. Told you. Don't touch the titties. Goddamn right, Trevor. You tell him. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not gonna pass her up. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Yep. That's what I'm going with. Chose Ricky because I couldn't choose him in the uh, in the previous one because I chose the other approach that didn't include him. Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town. You control the streets. I think it could work. It will work as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. All right, so now we just gotta do the little setup missions. Come, come, got missed your sunlight. There's an LSPD van holding spike strips in the rear car park at the South LS Police Station. I've got a hacker looking for some gauntlet muscle cars that we can modify. Expect an email about that soon. Franklin. We got a lot to do. Damn right. Literally not that far away. I wanted to use Franklin for this because he has a special ability to driving. Four muscle cars were going with bravado gauntlets. I modded one and the test worked well, so we just need three more. Hacker pulled up some images from the CCTV network. Showing models on LS, they got average skills, so picks aren't the best or worst. With a little detective work, you should be able to find them. Any three gauntlets will do if these ones don't work out. Get them, take them to the LS Customs for modding, and drop them in the lockup. Yeah. We'll deal with that in a bit. But they're not going to let me in. But don't worry. It's always a way around. Oh, come on, man. All right, man, I could have sworn there was a way in. They locked it, man. I used to go in here all the time. Work around.
They seriously didn't notice? Well, I guess I didn't even have to use a special ability to all, at all, because, well, apps are not even on me. That's weird. I didn't even notice, man. Whatever, it works for me. And that's one of the few gold medals we actually get in this playthrough. Without even trying to get a gold medal. I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah, gotten this. I'm going to still be Franklin. We got some of those spike strips for the UD job, man. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take this score. Right, here's the first gauntlet. Location. I gotta go to Los Santos Customs. From a toad to a prince. Hmm. Keep it the way it is. Doesn't really matter how you modify it. Unless if you're going for that um gold medal. Which is pretty easy to get. Unless if it glitches up for some reason. That has happened to me. Not when I was doing same playthrough in my own time, which yes, I have completed 100% of Grand Theft Auto 5 on here. My second time completing this game, the first time was on the Xbox One, and the second time being on this PC version. The PC version is actually getting its ninth generation upgrade, so I'll be looking forward to that. Great. It's an easy gold medal to get. Let me know. Okay, the other one's at a car park. Just take it. It's first door anyway. What kind of amateur are you? <laughs> what a gentleman. And for what? I'm not being sarcastic. Well, I didn't know you can let them pick it up. I thought you had to pick it up and give it back to them. But if they're nearby, they could just pick it up. That's a nice car right there. Unfortunately, right here. Here it is. There looks like the day you bought it. I didn't buy it, I stole it. No cars? Oh, I s Yeah, I damaged it earlier. Whatever. There's cars over there. The second gun is in the lockup, modified and ready. Alright, one less thing to worry about. Here's the third one. Like the day you bought it. Clearly, he wasn't paying attention the last time I was here. I damaged it. Oh, 
Well, I still got the not a scratch uh, requirement. So, whatever. The third gauntlet's there. It had work done and everything. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. We'll meet at the strip club. Now we're ready for the big one. Well, actually, I'm not ready. I have to use the restroom, so... But if I have... But I, if I go to use the restroom, I'm gonna risk getting ID'd. So... Maybe I'm just gonna have to hold. Or piss my pants while I'm at it. You don't think I recognize my own underwear? Now give them back now! I'm gonna break your face! Blow me! Jesus Christ! Ah! The truest of hearts break the cleanest. Just to say that you always in my heart. My heart is full because you are in it. Be good. What we have together, it was very it was very special. I love you, but I am a wife and a wife must be with her husband. You are a good woman. He is luck he is a lucky man. If he hits your shit, I will rip his head off and fill his stomach with piss. I have thought about that a lot. I've also done it. But not to your husband. It's quite fun. I miss you. You were the best thing ever. A woman who liked me and who I could be with myself, myself with. Not a cunt like most people. If you want him, if you want to leave him, I am waiting for you. Always. Love, Trevor. I haven't been allowed back in since the incident. Since the incident that Rockstar still has yet to reveal to confirm what actually happened here. Man, Deborah is just so mean, man. She won't even let me back in the apartment. She really hates me. No, I know what happened. I'm just kidding, guys. I was there when it happened. I mean, I know what happened. I didn't know what happened. Because Rockstar never tells us. And it's never mentioned again. Oh, we got a phone call. Trisha. Trevor. Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. You see, uh, Martin, is he treating you well? Did you ever? You're a sweet boy, Trevor. Oh. A sweet man. Trisha, I really miss. I have to go. Hey, boss, how you doing, Trevor? It automatically starts. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna have to go through it. I should be fine. What's the 1040 form schedule C and SE? Big school. It means you're on the IRS radar. I haven't filed since I left grad school. Hey! Shows for paying customers only. Okay, okay, here, get dressed. All right, hurry up, get changed, all right? This is the biggest day of your sorry little life. Hey, man, so we really doing this shit? All right, come on, next door. Ah, our network hacker. Uh, don't be fooled by the CRT and the fax machine. The hardware here is state-of-the-art. Cute. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? Outside. Hey, good luck, homies. I'll see y'all at Mission Row, all right? Oh, we'll see you there with approximately eight tons of gold. Four tons, not eight. Four tons, not eight. All right, people, let's go. Get in the car, baby. We are about to make history. Come on, we're on the clock. Let's get to the tunnel. All right. This the best you could do? What are you talking about? These fucking guys? They're cool. Look, we pulled that thing with them. It went fine. I hit Vangelico with these fools, all right? You setting these guys up for a fall? Huh? Is that what this is about? If they're the diversion, maybe it makes sense. This whole treachery thing is new to me. 
Don't listen to this asshole. It's all good. No one is being set up. I've heard that before. Shut it, Trevor. This is the big one, and fuck me if we don't need any doubts in the back of our heads. Trevor still doesn't trust Mike. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. All right, trucks aren't here yet. Let's sit tight. There's no need to panic. We weren't panicking. Something wrong? Nothing's wrong. We just gotta wait. You saying don't panic makes me wanna panic. All right, here we go. This is it. All right, all right. I see the vans. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Seriously? Let's go. Deploy the stinger. Now keep driving. They should go over it. I can't see it because the lighting doesn't show it. This one. No. Oh shit. Hey, please, whatever you need. Yeah, no shit. We need you. No, no. What's your name? Casey. Casey! Get in the fucking truck. Let's go! Go, 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 get in! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Move! Your welfare! Quit whimpering. Next stop, the Union Depository. Shit, 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 shit! Relax, man. I'm the one who should be crapping myself. I'm about to rob the biggest bank on the planet. Fuck! Fuck! Look! Casey! I need you calm. You're no use to me when you're freaking the fuck out. Where you want to be right now is useful. Yeah. Right. Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you like half a minute ago. <laughs> Here you go. Gets me every time. Onion 86 in the building. Is Onion 86 always late? Along with Eggplant 22. Or was it just those two times? Do anything stupid. Let's go, pal. Authorization. Good. 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 Access is good. Courtesy escort is go. Take us to it. Follow me. All right. right behind you, sir. And I'm right behind you. Thanks. Uh, good. Yeah, uh, um, uh, fine. I bet the freeway is an absolute B star star CH today. <laughs> Tell me when it isn't. And you gentlemen have to sit in those trucks, bored out of your minds, staring at more money than you know what to do with. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Team is here. Now that is some kind of door. Hey, so you know what to do? Uh huh. Come on. Okay.
All right. Gentlemen. Oh, okay. A job to do. Absolutely. Oh, shit. There it is. Two hundred million dollars of gold. We're just holding on to it for the Chinese. Now, well, you ever want to keep it in the United States? <laughs> sure, take what you can carry. <laughs> That's good stuff. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. We got a schedule. Get yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. These are heavy. A little over two tons of pallet. Yeah? So what's that worth? Gold's trading at uh, around 1,700 to 2,000 an ounce. 35 ounces a kilo, give or take. 1,000 kilos a ton, so that's... 200 million dollars or thereabouts. Give me a sec. Yep, that sounds about right. Collection team has... Number's pretty oh, good. No. Knows his numbers. Got many jobs after this? No, this last one. He's retiring. <laughs> Exploring other opportunities. Hey, you know your chance of an early death increases dramatically when you retire. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. Hmm. Ah, my back! This much metal ain't normal, is it? Quite irregular. Order came down this morning, but the computer cleared it. Well, let's hope no one untoward gets word. That's what you and the rest of the security gets paid for, isn't it? Cargo's in the loading bay. Get her on board! All right, come on, let's not take up any more of this gentleman's time than we have to. That's it! Let's go! Hey, I'm not feeling so well, and I hey, thought maybe come I could on, just, Casey, you know... Hey, suck it up! You can't handle the hangover, Case. Do not overindulge. That's right. This man right here will teach you a little something about moderation. Get in, bud. Cargo is gone. Don't worry, Case. We move this metal at Mission Row, and you're all done. Control, we got the metal. What's your situation? Not good, man. Mary Weather know we took the UD. They out there looking for you. Shit. Okay. What can you do? We got the signal I had. I can use it to keep you away from them clowns. Fuck. I hope you got a solution for this problem. Yeah, dog, we own it. Okay, okay, okay. The link's active. Now you can control the traffic lights. Let's go. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Man, this just seem easy enough. Okay. Okay, we in. I can mess with it as many times as I want because I'm not going for the gold medal. Gotta be on the lookout for Mary. Hey, shit, man. Heavy's showing up on the east. We gotta head east at this junction. The light is green. Okay, both of you go left. Oh, shit. More mercs coming from the northwest. She's red for us. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so they're, they're stopped right now. They really love the traffic laws, but... Hit the indicator. You're going right. This one's clear. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's Mercs just to the left of you. Cool, head over this one. <laughs> Get on. Oh, I can practically smell those bastards. This one looks good. Then, uh, make a right turn. Shit, Merriweather on the west of the grid. Green light ahead. Okay, look, so you're gonna go right at this one. Hey, Merriweather spotted on the south. We got a green light. All right, we don't need a word. They're waving us through. More mercs just showed up at the top of the grid. Hey, look out. They on the right. I'm touching cloth here, buddy. Okay, now. Home stretch. 
Made it. Made it. Nice and simple. Hustle up. You guys, redistribute the weight. Here they are. Hey, good work, F. Ah. Damn, I can't believe we got the mail. Damn right. All without firing a bullet. Oh, don't forget Sir, our you... case here, uh, huh? The lead ain't no, gonna no, be please, wasted. No, no, please don't. No, wait. Biggest score of our lives. We ain't taking any chances. Sorry, Pally. Gee. Well, no, it ain't no, a chance. No, please, please. He's in on it. Huh? Get up. Hey, get up. You tell him something that ain't on the news already. This whole thing is your idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. Not a word. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was jumped. I, I, I never saw a thing. Go! You're fucking going as soft as that old blasted boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Look at it! Yeah! Hey, oh, you man! Fuck. Work first, bicker later, man, all right? Oh, shit! Merryweather! Mercenary motherfuckers! Right. You, keep loading. We'll deal with this. All right. Hands up. Franklin actually has armor. He just doesn't have any of the special abilities. Not the on foot. Just keep those meatheads back. Fucking Merryweather! How many dudes they got in this private arm? Just enough. Paycheck's no good when you're. Oh, I'm sorry. Dead, you ass! Fuck him! Up already! That ain't even fair! Watch the left! I'm gonna stay on the front, man. You guys take the flank. Come on! You assholes! Who else will be fucking this up? Watch the metal! Deal with the mark. We get out. They really coming in. Got me from the front. I think that other guy's down. Was going so sweet. An angle cast the whip. I can't see him. Anyone got an angle? Fucking Merryweather. I think it's all of them. I think that's it. That's the last of them. So much for the bulletless revolution. Man, we always getting fucked with. You hold the perimeter. Everyone else in your cars. We leave while we can. Hey, what's stopping me from riding off into the sunset, huh? With my saddlebags of bulging. Huh? Lester's the only guy who can flip metal without making a noise, dipshit. You want to try? Be my guest. All right. Lead the way. On me, people. All right. Two hundred and one million three. Two hundred and one million three hundred thousand. That's how much the total score is. A little over two hundred million. I forget that he has a special ability. 
I keep talking about it and I never bring I never even use it. Classic getaway. No cops were in the tunnel, so they didn't see that. I don't see the vehicles. Okay, seal the tunnel and get a ground team in there. Stat. Man. They're never going to find those cars. Okay, realistically talking, they're going to find them eventually. It's just going to take a bit longer. Italian is pretty good. Hang on. We're, we're just leaving the gold. Yepper. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of gold. Hey, T, have a little faith. What? <laughs> faith? In you, buddy? All right. In Lester. In the process. Come on. We've been through it a million times. Any fool can take a score. It's getting away clean that makes the difference between those who walk free and those who do not. Whew. Man, I wouldn't know what to do with that shit. I'm guessing you wouldn't either, man. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I just have some trusting issues right now, Franklin. If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores. And you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic, both of you. Oh, I am so sorry. Hey, we did it, assholes. We did it. We just did the biggest score ever. It doesn't get bigger than this, unless if Grand Theft Auto 6 has some uh, tricks up its sleeve. But I'd like to see what they could do. With two playable characters. I mean, it's got to be bigger than a liquor store robbery. I mean, that's pretty entry level if you ask me. There's Lester. Just comes in whenever he wants to. Uh, Lester, we have just made history. Ah, uh, I don't want to ask a dumb question here, but where's the metal? I've got it on lockdown for a few days while I'm waiting for the go-ahead to melt it and move it. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Where is just the point. Let's say somebody gets pinched. Well, then where is the evidence? Or if anyone gets any silly ideas, then they'll just be futile. So we can take it easy. Knowing that uh, it's going to be a few days before Judas here shows his true colors. Really? Now? Yeah. Now, sugar. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out and realize what's done is done. Whatever you say. Right? Well, this is a good time. That's his fucking fault. Fuck, fuck, fuck you, you man. Hey, 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 hey. God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of 
whiny West Coast douchebags! What the fuck is wrong with the West Coast? Oh, nothing. I love it here. Everyone's so numbed by the sun that if you use a three-syllable word, they think you're a professor. Man, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, you high and mighty weasel! And you don't talk down them to these fucking idiots! Hey! Leave Lester alone! Oh! Oh, you and Lester together? Oh, now that makes fucking sense! Oh, for fuck's sake, man! You all are assholes! Man, I gotta go calm down, homie. This shit was real illuminating. Franklin, I'm sorry. Come on back, have a beer or something. Yeah. In the other approach, they're not that angry. Well, I did okay, I guess. Um, the crew gets 94 million. Lester gets 24 million. Trevor gets 27 million. Franklin gets 27 million. Mike gets 27 million. Uh, Casey gets 300,000. And the take, the overall take is, uh, 201 million, 600,000. And, yeah. We lost 300,000. Because we gave it, we gave one of the bricks to Casey. Does that mean that each brick is 300,000? So, as you can see, we have one final mission at Franklin's safe house. We're going to be doing that in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be the last episode for the story. Um, I will do all the Strangers and Freaks, which will actually take about se about 18 episodes to finish. So yeah, it's not over yet. And maybe then... May may and then I'll be a bit less worried about this, the schedule. I mean, yeah, the schedule's really falling off around the end, but it's okay. Um, I am my boss. I don't have a lot of people watching my videos, so no one's really there to get mad at me for not uploading often enough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye.